Hello and welcome back. Today in this video, I will show you how to create a static slider or carousel inside Elementor for free. And by static slider, I mean if you want to slide image boxes, icon boxes, or your content, then you can do it easily by watching this video. And let me show you a quick demo of the slider that I am going to create in this video. So if I scroll down, then this is a static slider. As you can see, we have image, subtitle, title some text and a read more button and this is a slider you can also sit and auto play for this let's scroll down this is another demo as you can see with image arrows inside title description and read more and this is also set to auto play next this is another version in which the image is separated from the content and we have a different type of navigation for this and if you need a panel slider like this as you can see the text on our and this is a full screen panel slider so you can do this with the same free plugin which i'll show you later in this video as you can see with navigation in autoplay and this is another version And here you can display three at a time. This is another version as you can see. And this is another one. With a read more. And there are multiple demos available which you can check. I'll provide a link in the description where you can choose the slider of your choice. Now let me quickly show you that how you can create these and uh, let's go back. And this is the website that we will use for creating the carousel. To create a carousel just go back to your dashboard and here go to plugins and add new. And here search for element pack and you will see element pack light add-ons for elementor this is the light version which will enable us to create sliders for free and it also has a pro version and there are multiple widgets and elements available in this free plugin as you can see image compare recording magnifier lightbox local grid members and so on you can search for this plugin and you can read more about this plugin and uh, once you activate this plugin you will see all widgets core widgets third party and active you can go to core widgets you can enable and disable things according to your need same goes for the third party widgets and extensions now i'm not going in much detail just want to show you that how you can create static carousels so we will find that inside the core widgets so let's try find it inside the core widgets. The name is static carousel. So this is the carousel you must need to enable this. And the other one is panel slider. So this is already enabled. Once you enable disable things then just click save changes. You can also activate all of these but I don't need these and these will load our website so let's not activate all of this now we will edit this page with elementor let's scroll down and we will just create a new widget here so let's search for that slider i have many plugins installed for slider so this is the static slider as you can see the logo here so just drag this over here And you will see a ready made slider as you can see. Here you can just change the images, the title and subtitles and that's it. To do this just go to items, open any of these and click here to change the image. So I'll choose an image. For example this one. We'll insert media. And as you can see the image has changed. We can also change the title. So I have some projects over here and uh, 
The title here is Pregnancy Childbirth Center. And uh, you can also copy this text. So let me copy this quickly. And uh, we will select this text. We'll paste our own text. This is bold. You can change this. And that's it. You can also remove the subtitle if you don't need. And then you can link this if you want. So I will link this to this specific form. Let's copy this link. We'll paste it here. Now this will link the read more button to that specific form. And you can do the same for all of these. And uh, let's go to additional settings. And here you can change the number of columns. Like here you are displaying three columns. If you want to increase, decrease this, you can choose your columns here. Like this. But the three columns are okay. And uh, you can also change the item gap, which is this gap. You can increase, decrease the number of pixels here. This is the item match height. So if you enable this, then all of these will be in the same height. Show name. So you can show the name, show subtitle, show text. I don't need the subtitle, so I can disable this. And as you can see, we hide the subtitle. And this is the text in read more, which is this one. And here you can enable disable the image. If you don't need the image, then you can disable this. And here you can change the image size. Let's choose this one. Now the image is large. You can also set the image mask. For example, you want to make this aesthetic. And uh, let's choose a shape for this. So as you can see, you can easily change the shape of the image. You can try all of these shapes. And uh, as you can see, you will see the live review here. You can change the position, size, repeat and so on. Now let's choose the first one just to show you. So this is the alignment which is fine. And this is for the read more. And uh, you can change the read more text. And you can also give this an icon. Let's choose an icon for this. For example this one or something like this. Or we can set an arrow. Like this and then you can decide the position of the icon so this is after and this is before and this is the icon spacing which is the space between the text and the icon go to navigation and here you can change the style for these navigation so this is arrow and you can change this to arrow and dots arrow and friction and so on let's choose this one so as you can see this is the friction and this these are the arrows Let's choose dots and arrows. These are dots and these are arrows. Dynamic bullets. So this will display bullets according to the number of items you have. And you can center the widgets, uh, center the dots and so on. You can also hide arrows on mobile, which is fine. This is the carousel settings. So as you can see, the carousel has been set to autoplay. This is the animation speed pause and hover so if I enable this then if someone hover mouse then it will stop scrolling you can center the slide you can grab cursor drag free mood and you can check all of these options next the wrapper link if you want to link this whole image title and subtitle you can write your own link just enable this and you can paste that link now this whole thing will link to this specific post or um, form and this is the refer link by this plugin so this is coming from another let's disable this if i enable this i can paste that link and that's it and if you want to change the slider let's uh, go to items and to show you quickly let's duplicate these and if you want to further style this then you can go to style tab and here you can choose padding for this specific item you can change the background color of the item 
border, border radius padding, box shadow and so on. For example, I want the background color to be white. And to make some difference, we can change the section background. To something like this. Now you can see the background color here is white. Now let's edit this again and uh, let's give this some border radius for a nice look. Now you can see the look and this is the border radius. Next is the fading which is uh, let's give this 10. So this is the spacing between this image text and the bottom. You can style the image according to your need for example the border type for the image, border radius, padding and so on even the CSS filters. Next we have title where we can style the title, the text, read more and the navigation and so on. I'm not going in much detail this was just to show you that how you can create this type of slider inside the free elementor. And as you can see this is absolutely for free. Next is the panel slider let me quickly show you that and uh, we will search for panel. We will drag this this will give us a ready-made slider again you can click this and uh, here you can decide the style according to need this is an hour an active this is for the text and uh, you can go to sliders and here you can change the items so you can change the text image and the description and here the setting is the same as this one i don't want to make the video lengthy this was just to show you that how you can create static sliders according to your need and how you can scroll them and that's it. So I hope you have learned something new in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.